With two defeats in their previous three outings and injuries to key personnel, South Sydney's once smooth campaign had suddenly struck some turbulence. After limping home from Townsville, they ventured to Melbourne for the first time since the lesson they received in last year's final series. The storm were electric in putting almost 70 on Canberra five days earlier and wasted little time in carrying on their point scoring spree. Gronk puts a sprint on and he takes the play down, got the ball away, then there's a bat on, then there's another bat on. This is punch ball at the moment and now Chambers is going all the way. Chambers goes all the way. Well that's incredible. There's been a couple of, I don't know what you call them, but he's pointed to the spot. Ben Cummins has awarded a try to Chambers, and that is a try I don't think I've ever seen the like of before. The Premier's also attacked without the Steedon. And uh, here's South being trundled back. Into the end goal, then they lose the ball. I think he's going to check this. The middlemen may have sent it upstairs with a no-try clause, yet there was no evidence of anything sinister about the way the ball came free giving Jesse Bromwich his fourth try of 2013. Cameron Smith edged the home side score along to 14 with a simple penalty goal. Although the Rabbitohs weren't the only victims of the Storm Skipper's lethal left foot. Oh, there it is again. A bit of friendly fire. Without Greg Inglis and John Sutton, Souths also relied heavily on the boot to breach Melbourne's defensive line. And looking for a T.O. and he's got the ball and then T.O has gone in to score for South Sydney. That's the one they wanted. It'll be converted from right in front. Ben Teo stretching out above the pack and pulling it down. So the Bunnies were finally on the board in a bid to grab their first ever victory at Amy Park. And they crept to within a converted try through an early second half penalty goal from Adam Reynolds. Although the halfback had no joy with this crack at the line three minutes later that could have levelled things up. Instead, the other number seven fed his winger a peach of a pass soon after. Here's a chance for Wonga. Wonga steps off his right foot, gets the ball down. That's a try for mine. So Melbourne, who looked to be the team struggling a little bit just widened the margin. It was somewhat surprising that this one wasn't scrutinised further, but the instant call gave Melbourne more breathing space. And it was followed by further misfortune for the Rabbitohs when Dylan Farrell was taken off in a neck brace after copping the knee of his teammate Andrew Everingham. Bad luck comes in threes, they say, and this was it for the Red and Greens. Then to O'Neill, O'Neill throws the dummy, sweeps around Merritt, puts the ball down, and uh, O'Neill has scored for the Storm. With the game in safe keeping, Smith added a penalty goal after the final siren as Melbourne flexed their muscles in this all top four affair to register their sixth straight victory against the Rabbitohs. David Rollins, NRL.com.